my my mum is so excited I'm speaking to you guys today. She hasn't missed an episode of Neighbours since it started, all those years ago. Wow. I know. We used to come back from wow. holiday. We used to come back from holiday and she'd watch every single episode that she'd missed on holiday that she taped on a VHS player. <laughs> which wow, is that's incredible. Uh, anyway, I'm going with the interview, just thought I'd let you know that. Uh, so lots of people... <laughs> Uh, would have just carried on uh, where they left in regards to the kind of neighbours when it, when it kind of finished and now it's kind of come back with this kind of new chapter. Um, do you think it's proven to be a really wise decision to have given the characters and given Ramsey Street that kind of two-year gap? Yeah, no, it's a, it, it really does make sense. It's, it's a fantastic, um, you know, sort of theatrical premise, really, to say that it's two years because then we all, you know, we can just tell you what happened in that two years whenever we need to. Um, so and, and and hide little snippets of information in there and uh, make it all exciting and like more information is going to come out, which of course makes us all watch the show. And so it's very clever, um, very clever, Jason Herbison. Um, yeah, so so it's done lots of different things by splitting up Toadie and Mel and Paul and Therese. That's that's done a huge. Ruction, and now you find out why that happened, which is um, it just shows even more and more and more of things that we didn't know. So, um, on a personal level, for me, it it gave me the opportunity to be able to flesh out who Mel was because we'd always known her as this incredibly um, bright, happy, sparky kind of person who was lots of fun. Um, to see what she's like without any of that stuff was was heaps and heaps of fun for me to flesh out and try to make her kind of a, a you know a bit more of a whole person and, and show another side to her. Which so that was that was great fun. What about you, Luce? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I th- I agree with um, Lucinda. I think it was I think it was a really good idea. I think. Um, it adds like it adds so much of the suspense because we've had all these like drastic changes and we don't really know why or um what's happened or and it, and it's it was really fun for me um as well to play sort of like the arc of Holly because she's gone through quite well, we haven't seen her since she was I don't know t- uh 14 I think so um and then it was quite nice it's just like juicy um background of what's happened in these two years that has caused her to sort of be the person that she is when we first see her um so it was nice really nice to um yeah sort of like build that and um I think the viewers are gonna like love the um the backstory because I've been seeing like everybody been saying like what what's been happening like so I think it's the unraveling is going to be really nice and really exciting for everybody yeah, I'm going to call uh, you Lucinda Cowden and Lucinda Armstrong. I'm going to call you Luce Lucinda Armstrong because I've, I've just picked that up and that's going to make this easier. So Luce, uh, <laughs> does, does it feel different to before? Obviously, you know, it has kind of, it, it's had a break and it started again. When you're on set, does it just feel like a complete continuation of what came before? Or does it feel a bit like a bit of a, sort of a new show in some regards? Well, for me, I was last on when I was 15. So um in a lot of ways, it feels, I mean, it, it feels very similar. It's like something that's really nice about Neighbours is it's like a very much like a family feel. Um, the building that we shoot in is like, it's been the same since I did my audition there when I was 11 years old. Like I have this really vivid memory of walking through the building and everything is exactly as it is now, which is really nice for me. Um, it feels like I've sort of like grown up there in a sense. Um but yeah, I mean, it feels, the show feels great, but it feels like this is just a new, um, there's like a freshness, you know, and there's um, every, like everybody's, I don't know, it's, there's slightly an elevated um, feeling, I guess. Um, And there's excitement that there's sort of this new chapter. Um, And I think everybody's doing such a great job to um, sort of flesh that out and, um, yeah, it's 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 nice. I mean, I'm sure Lucinda will know. Lucinda was there at the very end, so she'll have more of a side by side of what it was like before. Um, but yeah, for me, it's it's similar and different in a good way. Yeah. 
Yeah, because Lucinda, I mean, Melanie is back. Uh, is she is she here to put the kind of cat amongst the pigeons? Because obviously things have changed and moved on since she was last around. No less Toady and Therese getting together. Um, yeah, well, yeah, she I suppose she is here to put the cat amongst the pigeons. Um, well, she does, I suppose, in the coming back, but she has to come back for to stop. Um to stop the sort of um, continual terror that she's in, I suppose. So, um, so yeah, it's um, it's 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 a real um, dramatic kind of um, trope to throw in there, if you know what I mean. It is. It's um, so so. Yes, she comes back for Nell um, because hurting Nell is is worse than her being hurt. So, so she comes back for Nell, um, but she doesn't come back to break up Toad and Therese. Mm. She, she, and and she, she doesn't. Ha- the other things happen that, of course, we can't talk about yet as to why she stays. Mm. So initially, she only comes back to um, to own up to what's actually happened and to tell that story. Um, to to stop all the whys and 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 to stop all the questions and she can see that that everybody needs to know why she left so she comes back to tell them really and she's facing the consequences of her actions is the other thing that she feels she has to do um for her own moving forward in her life she 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 can't just keep running any longer She's got obviously a trademark laugh. <laughs> it's such a wonderful laugh. I mean, you've had to. I hear it from a while. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, there's been. Because um, it's been two years without it. Did you have to practice it in the meantime? Keep those vocal cords warm. <laughs> um, it's a bit like starting a car that hasn't been started for a year or so. <laughs> You kind of need a bit of WD forty or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, to get I it. I don't again. want to go into but, spoiler territory, but does it feature? Yeah. Oh, so go. Well, initially, she when she comes back, everything's so um, terrible for Mel that there is no laughing initially. Mm. So, um, yeah, it took it takes a while till she cheers up enough to start that stupid laugh again. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't want to get into spoiler territory, but do, what might it feature that laugh again in in this flashback week? <laughs> uh, is it in the flashback week? I, I, mm, mm, maybe because there are happy times in the flashback week. So if you're likely to get it anywhere, you'll get it in the past. <laughs> And uh, and Luce, I was going to ask about about Holly. I just I just wondered, did you kind of watch any old episodes of Izzy to help find your role to kind of match some of the characters' traits to to her mother? Um, yes, I I saw a few clips. I also had a mood board, um, like a visual mood board for um Holly, and I got a f- like a few really great stills of Nat Bass, um in like I think it was maybe like probably the first time she was on the show um doing like really sly like I've got one where she's like leaning over a bench I don't know who she's staring at but she's giving them this really like sly um like lioness sort of like look and I had that as like part of my main inspo um yeah (laughs) I quite like to see I have a kind of more dark more manipulative side a bit like Izzy Maybe we'll see that in the future. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I would, yeah. I mean, I think she does share, she does share a few traits with Izzy um, for sure. So, yeah, it's it's an interesting mix of Carl and Izzy. Um, and I think, she, yeah, it's it's fun to play for sure. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for your time today, guys. And best, well, just good luck with the, the rest of your shooting and stuff. And hopefully we'll catch up again one day. Who knows? But, no, but loads more stuff has no doubt happened. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.